Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Candice, aka Diamond Candy, if you are new here. And if you are a returning loyal subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in again. You are a real one. If you guys have been watching my channel for a minute, you know that I dyed my hair black back in October of last year. And since then, I've tried to go like a honey blonde, golden blonde color, but it was a fail. I didn't post a video because it was a fail, um, but I let you guys know on Instagram. So the hair was really patchy and parts of it turned green and just the black hair is so, so, so stubborn. So I've decided to give another product a try. And hopefully, if you guys are seeing this video, that means it was a success. So let's get started. So I went ahead and sectioned off a piece of my hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix together the hair color remover. I'm using the Funky Color Color Off Hair Remover. It easily removes all hair color, it says. So we're going to see. And um, it comes with the Color Off Developer and the Color Off Activator that you mix together. And then it also comes with a um, hair mask, which I thought was really, really cool. And it also comes with a, um, a brush, a pair of gloves, applicator sponge, and a dispense spoon. But I also went ahead and bought the Daily Shampoo with Intrabond Hair Repairing Complex just because it's supposed to strengthen the hair and um, just make sure that there's no damage. So I decided to pick it up. These products were a little bit on the expensive side. I got them from Sally's. Um, I think the shampoo was $19.99 and then the color remover was $14.99. But I'm just going to go ahead and mix them together and come back. So the ratio of activator to developer will depend on what you're trying to do. If you're just trying to lighten a color, if you're trying to completely remove it. And what kind of hair dye you had in your hair. If it was permanent, semi-permanent, demi-permanent or whatever. So um, per the instructions, I mixed one part activator with two parts developer. Which just ended up being the entire developer and then the entire activator. So I just tested it on a strand of hair and I can't really tell whether it... Um, lightened it or not it looks like it did a little bit i haven't waited that long but it doesn't look bad so i'm just gonna go ahead and continue so i'm just gonna take it and just slap it on there really no rhyme or reason just try and get all of the strands nice and coated by the way it came with this brush um it has like a little brush on it and then a little comb but that comb is a little bit too, it's a little too tight for me. I'm not trying to lose no hair over this. So I'm just going to use my fingers and um, maybe like a Denman brush or something. Or I'll probably just use my fingers. Permanent hair dye says to uh, let it sit for 45 to 60 minutes at room temperature, shampoo and condition after processing. I'm just going to keep an eye on it to see. I already see the back is pretty, pretty light. So I'm just waiting for the front to catch up. And as soon as the front gets as light as I want it to, I'm going to go in with the um, Intrabond Hair Repair and Complex Shampoo, also by Funky Color. And I'll be back with the results. Alright y'all, so I rinsed everything out and my hair is lightened. I'm excited. It's not pretty looking right now. Um, some spots are greenish. The back is a little bit lighter. But I'm just glad to have that um, black color off of my hair because I was not happy with that. Especially after I attempted to change it and it just kind of got all weird looking. Um, I used the entire like little max that it came with. And it was pretty good, but my hair still feels very, very dry. So I'm definitely going to have to um, sit with my deep conditioner with the oil and some heat and like really, really like try and moisturize my hair back. But now the next step is for me to add color to my hair. 
I picked up, um, give me one second. I picked up, um, this color from Adore. It is number 76, copper brown. So I'm going to add this on top of my hair. I want to stress that I am not a professional, as you guys know. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys. I encourage anybody who doesn't feel comfortable dyeing their own hair and messing with their own hair to go to a professional. I personally, I never really cared about if, you know, it went good or if it went bad like I just always have faith that it's going to come out the way that I want to and nine times out of ten it does if you don't feel comfortable go to a professional okay now on with the tutorial so um this says to shampoo towel dry use protective cream around hairline apply hair color one eighth from scalp and comb through thoroughly cover with the plastic cap and process with heat for up to 15 minutes rinse and shampoo completely so my hair is already um shampooed so i'm just going to put the color on let it sit under a plastic cap blow dry it for 15 minutes and then rinse out my hair deep condition and then i'll be back with the final results So this was the final result of that two-step process, removing the color and adding the um, Adore color on top of it. It's actually a little darker than I wanted, but I wanted to play it a little bit safe. Um, if I would have known that it would have came out this good, I would have went to like a lighter color, maybe just like a just copper, not the copper brown. But anyways, I love it. It's like red is my thing, as you guys know. I had my hair red for a long time before I went black. Um, so yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. It still looks super healthy. Um, like I don't really have any damage or anything like that. I'm probably going to have to go in to touch it up a little bit because some of um, the color missed some spots kind of in my roots. But overall, I think it came out really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comment box and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mwah. Can't get away, on these beach views with a